Hello friends, here we will covered one more feature of student module, and here we will discuss how to edit or update existing student data. In previous part, we have seen how to add student data in database, by simple click on add button. For edit data, we have go to student.php file, and here we have write, dollar document selector with on method, and under this we have right click event, with button class edit student, so when admin click on edit button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write student ID variable is equal to, dollar this with attribute method, and under this we have write ID, it will fetch value from ID attribute. Below this we have called clear field function, this function will clear all form fields, or validation error from form field. Now we have start write ajax request, and under this we have write first option, URL has been set to student action.php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have write post method, so it will use method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have define action variable with edit fetch value, and student ID variable. In fourth option, we have write data type option set to JSON, so it will receive data from server in JSON format. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if Ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write dollar with text box id student name with value method, and under this we have write data dot student name variable, it will assign value in student name text box. Below this, we have write dollar with text box field id, student role number with value method, and under this we have write data dot student role number variable, it will assign value to role number field. After this, we want to assign value to student date of birth text box, so here we have write dollar with text box id student date of birth with value method, and under this we have write data dot student date of birth variable. For assign value to grade select box, so we have write dollar with select box id student grade id with value method, and under this we have write data dot student grade id variable, it will assign value to student grade id field. After this, we have write dollar with hidden field id student id with value method, and under this we have write date dot student id, this code will assign student id value to this hidden field. For change modal title, here we have write dollar with division tag id modal title, with text method and under this we have write edit student, it will change modal title. Same way we want to change submit button text, here we have write dollar with submit button id, button action with value method, and under this we have write edit, it will change submit button text. After this we want to define database action, so here we have write dollar, with hidden field id action, with value method, and under this we have write edit, 
it will assign this value to action hidden field. Lastly, we want to pop up modal on web page, so here we have write dollar with modal id for modal with modal method, and under this we have write show, it will pop up modal with field data on web page. Now we have go to student action dot php and here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable is equal to edit fetch if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from student table where student id is equal to dollar post student id variable below this query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution for execute query we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar result variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with fetch all method, it will return query execution result. For fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output student name variable is equal to dollar row student name variable, here we have store student name data. After this, we have write dollar output student role number variable is equal to dollar row student role number variable here we have store student role number data for store date of birth details here we have write dollar output student date of birth variable is equal to dollar row student date of birth variable below this we have write dollar output student grade id variable is equal to dollar row student grade id variable here it has store student grade details lastly we want to store student id details so here we have write dollar output student id variable is equal to dollar row student id variable so, here we have store single student data under this dollar output variable, now we want send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So, we have write, echo statement with JSON encode method, and under this we have write dollar output variable, it will send data to Ajax request in JSON format. Now check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, and on web page we can see student data with edit and delete button, now we have click on edit button. After click on edit button, modal has been pop up on web page, so here we can see student form with fill data. Here modal title and submit button text also change. So, when we have click on edit button, then form has been submitted, and this code we have already covered at the time of add new data, so now we want to write only PHP script for edit data. For this, we have go to studentaction.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable is equal to edit, if this condition true then, 
it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key double colon student name, with value get from dollar student name variable. In second key, we have write double colon student role number, and in this key we have set dollar student role number variable as value. In third key, we have write double colon student date of birth, and in this key we have set dollar student date of birth variable as value. In fourth key, we have write key double colon student grade ID, and in this key we have write dollar student grade ID as value. And in last key, we have write double colon student ID, and in this key we have write dollar post student ID variable as value. So here we have store form data under this dollar data variable as array. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to update student table, set student name is equal to double colon student name, student roll number is equal to double colon student roll number, student date of birth is equal to double colon student date of birth, student grade ID is equal to double colon student grad ID, and lastly write where student ID is equal to double colon student ID. Now we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, with dollar data variable, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array, with key success value set to message like data edited successfully, this data will be sent to Ajax request in JSON format. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page we can see student data on web page. Here we want to check edit data operation. So, here we have click on this row edit button. After click on edit button, modal has been pop up on web page with fill form data, for check edit data operation, here we have change some student data. After change of data, we have click on edit button, after click on edit button we can see data edited success message on web page. So here student edit feature is completed, and in next part we will discuss, how to delete or remove student data in student management module. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.